In this episode, we continue exploring the Dampier Peninsula, Panda Bay, and then we head south to Kwandong. It's another bright and beautiful morning and it is low tide. So this gives us a great opportunity to go to the other end of Penda and take a walk around the point there. And we think there's an epic uh, rock pool there. Let's go explore. We're just gonna go explore. <laughs> Let's go explore. Let's just go explore. <laughs> this is what we do. Ready to go for a walk? Ready to go for a walk. Go for an explore. Low tide, at high tide it's a bit hard to get around with the rocks, but low tide we'll be able to walk along the edge there where there's some sand on the rocks. They look sexy, mate. They do the job. What do you got there? Function over fashion, rock shoes. Ooh. Are they the shoes that you wore on our first date? <laughs> oh yes, that's how I snagged you. Yeah, pretty sexy, mate. <laughs> I've look got at a... my rock shoes. I've actually got a sore throat and I've got a bit of a cut and a bruise because when I cartwheeled into the beach yesterday, I cartwheeled onto coral. Oh, you'll be right, so princess. I'm protecting my toes today. So we're going to go try find these rock pools. Um, we believe you actually can get to them if you're camping here. Um, it's an 850 meter walk around. You can't go to the other end and go down the cliffs because they're too high and there's no paths down. So you've got to walk around. They do say um, two hours before high tide start. Yeah, we're not low really tide. doing that before low tide, sorry. Um, it's low tide now and it's been sitting for about half hour. We're just gonna go for a quick scoot along, see how far it actually is. It's only 850 meters. Not far now. Really? Yeah, apparently just around the corner here. It's taking us 10 minutes. Yep. Like a night hawk stealth plane, you are. As Miriam said, we've only been walking for about 10 minutes and we're nearly there, so it's not that bad at all. Now, I absolutely love it here. Absolutely frothing over this joint. It's, yeah. Oh man, I don't want to leave, eh? Might have to extend. Bugger the gib, mate. We're just going to stay here for another month. In the shadows, keeping from the light of day. No. Should ever have to live that way. Hey now, it's okay now. You don't have to hide from the world. No. Oh, the 18 minute clock just passed, and we are pretty much nearly there. There it is, there, just up through there, those pinnacles. Um, that's where the rock pool is inside one of those. So you wait till you see this. Even all the way along there, mate, the structures and the colours are just incredible. Wow, wow. There's just like pinnacles everywhere. It's just, mate, I wish I could have put the drone up here. It just would have thrown a whole new perspective on it. It's stunning, but we'll just play by the rules. Um, this is a strictly no drone. Okay. Me. All right, I'm getting excited. You want to be excited? You're gonna wish you'd put your swimmers on. Ta -da! What? Jump in! Got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? Got the kick in every move, and I fought us like a fool for you, for you. Wish I knew just what it was, but why should I make a fuss? Just stay next to me, girl, next to me, girl. Something special done the rise, something special that I like about you. So we've been to some awesome rock pools in our time, but this one is, uh, I think it's pretty high up there. What do you reckon? I reckon it's... Oh, nice view, mate. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I wasn't counting on that one, but... I'm trying to get the stand off my feet. I'm going to say for the 40th time, this place is epic. Now I know why they say to get here like two hours before high tide, because you got to walk here. Then you've got to enjoy it all, and then you've got to walk back. So we've got to... We've got to hightail it, mate, because that top... 
tide's coming up. If we don't hightail it now, we may have to, uh, <laughs> may have to swim back. And I don't want to do that, mate. There's a lot of um, living logs out there, so I definitely don't want to swim there. And there's a couple of big Noahs too. All part of the adventure, mate. Hey, you need to hurry up, mate. Okay. The tide's coming up. It is. It's like 800 meters out that way. <laughs> Quick, we're running out of room. <laughs> How cool is this? You've got obviously the big normal boulders. Then you've got the stack of these. They're like big rocks made out of a heap of um, smaller ones that look like almost like they're concreted together. Let's go back to the van. Okay. Cook some lunch. Oh yeah, lunch. What's for lunch, mate? It's only 10.30. Is everyone getting dizzy behind the camera? No, you can't move. There you go. Back the other way. I'm helping prevent the dizziness. <gasps> Let's go. So on our way back to camp, we've pulled into site. I think it might be C2 because it is one of the bathtub sites. So we did hear some of these sites have tubs and well, this is one of them. There's also water and a fish cleaning table. This is actually a really cool site. But I guess now it's time to head back to camp and think about lunch. That would have been massive. Yes, it would have been. There's showers and toilets and everything up here. There's external shit like outdoor showers. Chris, I can. What have, you, what have you found, Donna? I'm so excited. Free washing machine. You Ooh. miss washing machines, oh. don't you, Donna? Eh? Free kids. Oh, sorry. Four plus, Greg. <laughs> Free washing machine. And look at that shower in there. And then this one around here too is a private ocean view one in there. Oh. And there's no shower of there. Donna's trying to shed some oh, light on the situation. Sorry, this one. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh look at it. Isn't it pretty? Oh, no, it's pretty. That's shot. very pretty. I like it when you're in the shop, Donna. Yeah, and the oil. Nice new toilet. What are we, what are we doing? And you get to shower with chickens around the corner. Shower with chickens? Yeah, look, chickens. Oh, frigger. What's in this one? You're going to show me in here? Another shower. Have a look in there. It's beautiful. This is a bit of a shower toilet combo here. And I wonder about the ocean view one. Oh, well, how's that? It's ocean views if you're a tall person because that's where my eyes are. And that's the view. Just to give you a bit of an overall idea of where we are, so up there is just where we were with the showers and toilets. That's a private residence there. I guess that's his private bus. Well, we've woken up to another beautiful day here at Pender Bay, and unfortunately, it's our last. We've been here for seven days, and it has been absolutely incredible. We've relaxed, we've explored, got a bit of work done, and now we're heading a little further south to James Price Point. <laughs> Up, eh? Seems like a good idea. Yeah, we're gonna have to air back down a bit later though. I love this sign. Do you need to leave? Stay <laughs> at Smithy's. Uh, I was just speaking to a bloke there and he reckons Quandon's better than James than Price. Than James Price, yeah, so we might so just. So you're entering that onto the. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can find it here. I've got James Price. Quandon, here we go. So it'll just calculate. So we've got the road version of it, then if we click up to here, we've got the actual. Ready, whatever you want, mate. Garmin Overlander, we have 36 kilometers to go to get to, I think we put James Price Point into that. I don't know if we're actually going to go there. I think we're going to stop at various places on the way and have a look and see. And if one of those um, looks good, we'll stay there. And if not, we'll keep going. So let's just see where we end up.
is so often the way with places like this. It seems to be very, very full. And we were radioing Greg and letting him know that's where we were heading. And someone said, if you're looking for Pondong, it's actually full. We got the last site. Um, so Chris has gone for a walk up there to see what's ahead because the road has been quite windy and quite tight and a bit scratchy. Um, yeah, so maybe not Pondong. We'll, I guess, have a look at the other campsites along here. And if all else fails, we'll head back into Broome. Uh, this is pretty full here. Plan B, hey? Plan B, turn Always around. needs to be a plan B. We can turn around. I'll just go into there and I think I can turn around up there. It gets pretty tight though, so. Has Gregor's gone down that way? He did, he went looking for I you. I will meet up with him. <laughs> yeah, so. They found each other. Now they're talking logistics on how to get us out of this, <laughs> this place. Yeah. All right. We got a plan? So game plan is, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna do a U-turn, but Gregor's will go forward. So he's out of the way of this truck, and I'll do my U in, go back out, and then he backs up and comes and does the same thing. A bit tight around here. I did get winded. People did tell me um, that this, this, these places here just get absolutely jam-packed, mate, from, from local guys as well in Broome. She would just move around the track further and give us that space up the top there because she's only here for one night. She's leaving early tomorrow morning. Yeah, OK, all right, I'll come and have a look. Well, she's moved up there, so I'm guessing that means we're going to be going there somewhere. Well, this lovely lady here was parked up here. And we went and saw her and she's like, there's no worries at all, I'm going to move. So she's moving up to there, so it gives us all this space so we can camp here. So that was really cool. She's in a little Suzuki and we're in two massive titaniums and Chevys, so... We're all going to share. Yeah, we're going to share. Do you want to walk down like this? How's that, Donna? We're complaining about not having beach. I know, and we just walked down here a little bit to check it out. And out of all the spots we could have picked, the beach entry is right there. It's right there. Look what... Look what Actually, there's beach driving access too. Pretty Marion, it is pretty. I think we nailed it, Don. I think we did. We, High we, five, we girlfriend. <laughs> Woo! Where are we going? You're going bush, Donna. Yep. I reckon that's bloody perfect, Greggles. <laughs> right, so here we go. Christo's coming in. He's supposed to be driving in. He just started reversing in. He got a bit confused between backwards and forwards, but I think he's got it sorted out now. We'll, uh, we'll give him a hand, I reckon. <laughs> he loves getting a hand on him. Oh, he does. Severe concentration going on in that cab right now. <laughs> he, like, the tongue will be out, hanging out the side, going uh, this way or that way. So just make it easier for him. We'll let him drive in so it looks nice and easy. Nice job, Greg. That's got to be close, hey. I reckon. And that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. That's Is that all right? Mate, I think it's okay. He's he's finally listening to me. He's getting it right. Is he talking about me? Never. No. That's I love right. how we're such good mates, Greg. Things that happen on extremely corrugated roads. So this rattled down. I removed all fusion locks, so they were fine. Hats came off there because sometimes they fall down. My toilet paper and my doggy poo bags unrolled. And that is it. So we did well because that was actually a pretty bumpy road. Not terrible, but bumpy enough to need preparation for corrugation. And I think I prepared adequately because we have no casualties inside the van. So we've decided that this rock wall here isn't quite big enough, so they're building a rock wall around it so when the tide comes in, the water will remain. We'll see if it works. I'm in a trowel.
congratulations to this month's winner of the $250 prize pack from Survival First Aid, Lisa. This is her comment. Guys, we just did a cruise to NZ, waited six months to go and we were so excited, but it didn't turn out as planned. We both got flu on board, some of our on-land activities got cancelled, blah, blah, blah. I have come home and binge watched all your vids that came out while we were away and I know now exactly what we need. A house on wheels and no plans. Beaches, sand, Aussie scrub, rainforests, colonial buildings and history. We need Oz time. Serious planning starts now and I have you guys to thank for it. I can't wait. Congratulations Lisa, you've just scored yourself the $250 outdoor bundle from Survival First Aid.